Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com with our update for Friday, uh, June 21st, 2019. We got a free pick coming up in just a moment, along with our thumbnail sketch, the over-under uh, involving the LA Rams for this upcoming season. We'll get to all of that in just a second. First, a great offer going on right now, Friday, over at DocSports.com. You can take advantage of this offer anytime on Friday, right now, up until 11 p.m. Eastern time when prices go back to normal. Here's the deal. On Friday, you can get 25% off any handicapper my Self, others you can use it on multiple handicappers 25% off any of the sports going right now over at DocSports.com that means baseball that means WNBA CFL 25% off on Friday only all you got to do is use the code all 25 that's a l l 25 25% off any of the sports over at DocSports.com on Friday only and uh, basically here's what you do let's say you go to and by the way it's weekly and monthly packages we Weekly and monthly packages, any sport of your choice, any handicapper of your choice, you can get multiple sports with this, multiple cappers with this. It's totally up to you on how many games, or I should say how many sports and how many cappers you want to use this on. Again, 25% off weekly and monthly packages in any sport of your choice, any capper of your choice. And again, multiple sports, multiple cappers, all available. And it goes right now through 11 p.m. Eastern on Friday night. All you got to do, let's say you go to my homepage over at DocSports.com you want to buy my weekly baseball, you click on that package, a little code box will pop up. You'll enter the code ALL25, A-L-L-2-5, 25% off weekly and monthly packages, baseball, WNBA, CFL, sports of your choice, cappers of your choice, today only, DocSports.com. All right, here's what we got going on for Friday. We got a big play in Major League Baseball that's going to be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. We're also going to be uh, involved in the UFC this weekend, and those uh, fight plays will be posted late Friday night. It'll be uh, at least 11 p.m. Pacific before we post them, but you'll see them posted over there for Saturday's fight card, so don't miss out on that. WNBA on Friday, it's all included. Now, we are recording this before our games go final on Thursday night, so we will update what happened on Thursday on the box below this particular video after the games go final. But anyway, that's what's going on for us on Friday, along with that 25% off. Don't miss out. Big Friday over at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to our uh, thumbnail sketch on the Rams. Yesterday, we kicked off this division with the Arizona Cardinals. Today, we're looking at the Rams. And listen, uh, the over-under under win total is 10 and a half. Like what they got going on offense, obviously, with Jared Goff. Skill position players for him to throw to are just fine. Going to be interesting to see what happens with Todd Gurley and his leg. You know, if he's going to be able to withstand the course of an entire season. Now, they may have hinted at that a bit, or at least got a safety valve by going out and getting Henderson in the second round of five young running back who is right now receiving a lot of praise from those around the Rams organization. So we'll see how things play out over the next couple of months and as we get into August and preseason when it comes to Todd Gurley. But listen, the offensive line is a couple of question marks this year up front for the Rams, but I think overall the offense is going to be pretty good. Maybe not at the level of last year, but it's still going to be a decent offense. Defensively, they did lose a couple of players. They did lose Indomitian and Sue, but they still got Aaron Donald and there's not a big drop off. I think it's going to be pretty close to last year's effectiveness on the defensive side of the football. The question is that schedule because it is tough out of the blocks. Listen, they open up at Carolina. They've got New Orleans at home in week two. Saints with that revenge from that playoff game last year and the call that wasn't made. They're at Cleveland after that. They got a winnable home game against Tampa and then they have a road date at Seattle. Listen, one little slip and you're talking about a potential two and three start for the Super Bowl runner-up Rams and you know about the Super Bowl hangover. So many times we've seen it from the teams that were runner-up in the uh, previous year's Super Bowl. But I look for a 3-2 and two start out of the Rams, and I look at the rest of the schedule, and I'm thinking, okay, there's eight more wins in the rest of this schedule, and I do believe the Rams are in for an 11-5 and five season, 10-6 and six at worst. Now, that's right around where the number is. It is 10.5, so there is no play for us on the Rams as far as the over-under wins total, but we do think an 11-5 and five season at best, 10-season and season at, uh, at worst, is in store in 2019 for the LA Rams. All right, our next team that we're going to talk about, it'll be on Saturday's report, will be the San Francisco 49ers. Not receiving the same kind of hype they did before last year, but still a wins total of eight. We'll tell you whether we like that or not on uh, Saturday's report. 
As far as our free pick for Friday night, we're going to look at the battle between the uh, Angels and the Cardinals as Albert Pujols makes his return to St. Louis. And listen, this is going to be Griffin Canning taking on Michael Walker. And Michael Walker has been a disaster. He's given up 42 base runners, including 13 walks in his last 22 innings at home. His ERA has skyrocketed to over 7.3 at home. It's going to take on an Angels lineup that's hitting the cover off the ball right now. They got healthy. They got red hot. But these key offensive numbers and strong numbers for the Angels, well, they started to come about about a month ago. It was in May, mid-May, when this team started to hit the ball better, and now they're healthy. I expect them to get to Waka. On the flip side, as much as I like the young kid Griffin Canning, he can throw too many pitches per inning sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, and he has struggled a little bit in his last three outings, plus his ERA on the road is about four and a half. I think the Cardinals can do enough damage to him and to that Angels bullpen to help push this one over the total. So we're playing the over between the Angels and the Cardinals Friday Night Baseball. That's our free pick. Hey, listen, if you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Friday in the win column. I'll be right back here Saturday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.